Is Jusant worth our time? We're about to find out. Welcome, everyone, to episode 165 of One Hour, One Decision, 1H1D. I am Chris. And I am Tom. And we take 60 minutes and play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and decide, well, Tom, am I saying the name of this game correctly? I believe you are, Chris. (laughs) Let's hope so, because I might make some people angry. But we're going to be talking about Jusant, made by Don't Nod Game came out in October of 2023. I played this on the PC. It was a decent but paltry size in in terms of the landscape of games that we played so far. 8.72 gigabytes on the PC. Tom, what about you? Slight discrepancy once again uh, (laughs) on the Series S, 8.89 gigabytes. It's like there's a couple, 100, 150 megs of space that a game just needs to be bigger on the Series S. Extra achievements? I don't know. Who knows? Whatever it is. But flavor. What kind of, maybe flavor. It's a song. It's a oh <laughs> Localization? No, we don't know. We don't know. But uh, what kind of game is this? Uh, I put third-person adventure puzzle game. Okay. I just put third-person climbing adventure. Because ah. guess what? Spoiler, you climb in this game. A lot. Yeah, it's weird, Chris, because my game loop says <laughs> climb to reach the next checkpoint, then climb to the one after that. Ooh. Okay. I put climb until you can't climb no more. Because, <laughs> I mean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very much so. Very much and, so. And when you can't f- climb no more, you're mistaken. There's more climbing ahead of you. <laughs> Until you reach the end of the game. That's uh, right. that, that's what I uh, am interpreting from my experience so far in this hour. But let's talk about our experiences that we liked. Uh, I appreciated very much that at the start of this experience, the game said, you're probably wondering what Jassant means. Uh, so we're just going to tell you. Uh, and it means a receding tide. It's just how you say it in French. So wow. thank you to the developer for tucking that in there right at the beginning of the game. I appreciated it. <laughs> well done. Don't nod. Yeah, I, uh, I I must have completely missed that, but I did not see that. But that's cool. It was it was white text on a black background, Chris. Like you really. <laughs> I, I, don't, I honestly don't know how I missed that. Do but not I, have I, I eyes. Must, I do not. I guess not. I was just because maybe maybe my thing was I was just blown away at how this game looked. I think it had a great, yeah. very strong art direction in this game. And uh, very, it just like the game overall just felt very polished. It was just like a, a like, I don't know, other, like other than, well, we'll talk about it on dislikes here, but like it just every little bit of uh, set pieces and stuff like that, they just, they exude this kind of, uh, this, this flair to it. And I thought it was really cool. Like it sets up this whole world. Without saying anything, again, another a lot of the like, a lot of the say don't, show don't tell. I think they did a good job about this because you're like you dropped into this world and then you realize like this world was underwater, I guess, this whole time, and now there's this whole and now all these people are have disappeared. It's just it's just very strange. It's like what is going on? Here? What's happening? It really got me involved, uh, intrigued into the story. So that's that's kind of the stuff that I was uh, really. No, no, I I want to. Everything you said right now, I totally agree with. I think the setting is incredibly cool. I haven't mm. seen it before. Like you're at the ocean floor, but there's no ocean. Yeah. Um, the art style just looks really neat. Like yeah. it's very simple. Yeah. It's not overly complicated, but it really does a great job of communicating the world to you. Yeah. Um, and as you said, it does it with zero dialogue. Right. Um, like there, there isn't any dialogue, but I have a really good sense, even just from the beginning in the first five, 10 minutes of like, what's going on? Like, I yeah. was like, okay, I know where I am. I know what I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it just, you know, kind of thrusts you like, okay, start moving, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing I want is like the animations, like, like the way that your character climbs, like, just like felt really good. Like it was just something satisfying about like she had, I believe it's a she. Uh, they well, I'll, I'll just say they to be PC here, but uh, they they seem to have like a very fluid motion to them. It kind of reminded me of like Assassin's Creed, but you're actually controlling the climbing as opposed to like you know Assassin's Creed just kind of like auto climb for you yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Pre- press the button and it climbs. No, right, like right. you need to. Yeah, all hands on deck here. Yeah, 
it was very like I thought I, even like the way that you move is very set. Like you use the triggers to you like control the left and right hand, and you know the 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 left thumbstick to the direction that you want to go, and um, and then a the a button was like to jump. So or or yeah, and so it was like, but the, like you said, they kind of introduced these things in a nice pace, and and you kind of like, and then like things started to click. Like okay, this is I need to get to this particular objective, so I need this is what I need to do. It was just very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I liked uh, completing chapters feels like progress. Mm. So does successful navigation of these puzzle challenges. Like yeah. each of each of these climbs is a little bit of a puzzle. Yeah. And you like kind of clip yourself in and then you yeah. start climbing, just kind of yeah. like the way you would in, in the real world. And then when you get to the top, you know, you can then release your rope basically and, and yeah complete that section um i just feels like i'm getting somewhere yeah um yeah. which which i appreciated especially like i keep harping on it but like it, the game there is no dialogue right, right. so it's uh, doing uh, a good job of communicating un unlike a little to the left uh you you are seeing the progress that you're making because you yes. can see how far you you've climbed yeah you <laughs> you turn know? around and look back and see how high up you are yeah yeah, so that was cool. And um, I think we both put this in here, but my goodness, the music and sound audio in this game was just yes. really good. I think it just fit perfectly. Like It's just like the overall experience of that was just like, wow, I was blown away with that. Yeah, they they, they nailed their like direction, like yeah. in terms of, you know, art and music sound, like it all just comes together and it comes together really well it all plays off each other and lends itself to telling this story right well done well done uh and then and then later on in the in my hour i i didn't realize that this thing was in your back the whole time but this the, this little guy comes out and he's like a little helper he tells you what your next objective is which i thought was really cool and i get a, a way for the game to utilize the characters without kind of pulling you out into a UI and right. being like, okay, this is where you have to, what you have to do next. Cool. That's, yeah. I appreciate I, that. I, if you can, if you can incorporate like helpful mechanics yeah. into the characters, that's always the way to do it. And yeah. it, it, it totally works here with this like little psychic jelly creature. That's your buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah. And the UI, I just, I was thinking about it right now, like, it was very minimal, very minimal. So other yeah, than the I mean, tool it, tips it, that you get, but yeah, and it, it keeps track of your stamina, which is right. the, kind of the in any game where climbing is a big part of it. Like, yeah, you need to know where you are. <laughs> How likely are you are to fall off? Right, right. Yeah, cool. Uh, anything else here you want to bring up about your likes or? I I am ready to move on. If you are ready to move on, well then let's go. Let's do it. Well, I've got to say, you know, we alluded to it in the game loop. The climbing is the whole game, right? <laughs> yeah. it, like it, it is unfortunately perhaps very repetitive. Mm. Like you climb, then you get to a ledge, then you find the next place that you climb, and then you climb some more. Yeah, and you just kind of do that and do that and do that and do that. Yeah. Um. So why is this a problem? Well, for me, it reminds me of like a piece of another game so like okay. there are climbing segments in lots of games you mentioned assassin's creed when i was playing this i thought of uncharted right okay yep. and like okay like so you you get to a wall in uncharted and there's some marks on the wall that let you know that this is a thing that you climb yep. and you climb it and then you get to the top of it and then the game becomes something else again right it goes back to being a third person yeah. shooter right um so like having puzzles interspersed into an adventure game where like a puzzle is just part of the game that variety gives the game spice and makes keeps the game interesting because you keep kind of switching back and forth in what you're doing sure but here like all you're doing is climbing um so like it, it to me it kind of felt like the rest of the game was missing if it's yeah. like a one trick pony sure but i i will argue that the the one trick the, the pony here does or the trick here is is done very well yes and, it, there's certainly more depth to it uh and and uh i but I, yeah i agree with you it does it can it can be repetitive but i think they do a, a decent enough job where the puzzles or the climb can tend to be varied because then not only are you doing that sometimes you have to swing across or whatever so yeah. there's like a little bit of variation but i can see where it could be like okay this is the only thing i'm doing but um for me some of the stuff that i didn't thought was a little frustrating 
was while the game does have no dialogue, and for the most part, it does a good job of explaining the world and, and all that stuff through, uh, you know, visual storytelling. There's there's still a lot of reading, like there's stuff that you pick up throughout the world, and like you have to like click through them. That's another thing. Like just if you're gonna give me a wall a scroll of text, just give me the scroll of text. So I can move on. The fact that like you're you're it's like slowing down my experience by yeah. doing that. So yeah, I thought that I, was. It, I'm with yeah. you. I, I it, the lack of voice acting. Yeah, there's so much text to read. Yeah, and it's it's almost feels like they put it in there because they understood that they need to have something else besides just climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so it kind of feels a little shoehorned to me where mm. it's just like, well, our whole game is climbing. Well, we're, there's the character's not going to shoot people. Yeah. You're not going to run into enemies. You don't even, you know, there's no stealth. There's no avoiding things. There's right. no shooting things. There's no, there's not really anything else. So yeah. it's like, well, we have to put something else in. Right. And so the solution was we're going to scatter these letters throughout the world and the player is going to find them and read them. And mm. like you said, it's it doesn't doesn't give it to you all at once. It's kind of like kind of forces you to kind of click through it. Yeah. The, the other thing was the game, I guess, tries to give you it, it gives you options to kind of explore a certain area. But then when you go to explore it, like, you're like, OK, this is what I went to do. A lot of it like felt like I it, I was just opening a um a way for me to come back down. And I'm like, yeah. what's the point of that? Like I yeah, my, I don't want to go my, back down. Yeah. The whole game is climbing. Yeah, I need to go up. I'm going up. I don't want to go down. But it was like giving me options to come back up. And okay, yes, there, there was definitely cer- certain uh, points in the uh, in, in my experience where like you know I will like mess up a jump, so I have to climb my way up. So yeah, it gives you a little bit of a shortcut. To get to that next get back to that puzzle or whatever you're trying to get to but but yeah like i don't know i felt like those like those are time wasters when yeah. i could just be climbing up and, and and seeing that so there was one particular area though where i was like okay i, I guess this, this is them kind of adding more to the world building this is a little bit after you um get your your, your little guy pops out of his little bag or whatever mm-hmm. but but yeah so there was that uh what else did you get here um, this in here, but, yeah. so exploring the world right i yeah. i agree with you that there's a lot of like dead ends like yeah there's no real reward for exploring yeah i like games that you know give me an item or something because i went over here you know right but this is not a game that about items right mm-hmm. it's not there's not about like a collecting gear so you can build something to help yourself like that's not yeah. here it's it's just not part of the game um but as a consequence of that, and I don't know, I guess because it is kind of on rails, there's a level of restriction. Mm. Um, v- there's invisible walls. Yeah. So like, yeah. let's say you're climbing a tower that kind of goes around a spiral style. Sure. My instinct, if I need to jump across to another one that's kind of adjacent, is go to some open place and then just jump. Yeah. But you can't do that. Right. And if you try to jump, the game doesn't even punish you by making you fall. It just won't let you jump. It's just there's just an invisible wall there. And it doesn't make sense because when you're climbing in any other space, you can just freely jump. Yeah. So I just didn't like that. It it kind of took me out of the experience where I was like, I mean, I, Tom, can't make that jump. But this character could make that Seems jump. like it. I mean, she's got quite the grip strength to keep going up there. Yeah, right? Like, and yeah. and and to just be like, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to make this little hop here. Yeah. Except that the game doesn't want me to. And so it's like, no, you have to go on this path that we've set you on. Right. Yeah, I, I definitely saw that also when there was like certain ledges that I thought, okay, maybe I can kind of climb down and like shimmy my way across it or whatever. But no, it just like, like you said, got the invisible wall. The other thing, like, as as cool as the animations were, I thought the, the run animation was a little awkward. Like she wasn't, mm. they weren't doing like a, a run, like a, like, like a regular run. They weren't doing like a, like a Naruto, Naruto run with the hands behind their back. They yeah, were just kind of like their hands were just in this, like being covered by whatever they, they're, they're wearing. And I was yeah. like, what's, what's going on? Like who runs like that? Like it was very very awkward. I, I mean, of course, I'm nitpicking here, but like that was the one thing. Um, <laughs> who yeah. runs like that are characters who don't want to have a complicated run animation. I, I guess so. I guess so. 
<laughs> an art art team and you want to save some uh some corners or something yeah well they save some corners by making objects that you get stuck on so that was annoying because i definitely had a couple of times where i'm like climbing or like jumping th- or thinking i was going to a particular area i fall in an air uh, in a section where like you're stuck behind literally like a pot that you would think you could just at least knock over or whatever and like no uh, so geometry to, got you yeah it really got me and it was kind of disappointing that i wish there was like a just a little bit more that you could interact with the world like physics wise you know just, just like moving stuff around everything was pretty static other than you know the stuff that you you're using to climb and, and, and whatnot so yeah, yeah like there's stuff you're meant to interact with right uh it's kind of the reverse of some of the games that we've played, like some games we play, like maybe the survival horror style games or whatever, you have like an infinite number of interactable objects that do nothing. Yeah. And that's, (laughs) that's, that's frustrating. Yeah. But this is the flip side where it's like, there's stuff that you're supposed to interact with and it's the only stuff you're supposed to interact with. Right. Um, so we want that happy. I, I, I got stuck as well. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, sometimes the game expects you to make what I put both as a mental and physical leap. Like the game <laughs> hasn't told you explicitly how yeah. to solve this problem. Mm-hmm. And the solution is that you need to jump, right? L- literally. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so that got a little frustrating for me where it's like, you know, the game isn't communicating to you in anything but these visual kind of cues. Yeah. And if you don't get them, like you could be stuck there for a while. Right, right. And just really quickly, I, I kind of touched on this already, but the backtracking, is there a point to it? Like, is there going to be a, an area where we have to kind of go back and forth? Like, or is the, is the end of the game you climbing back down? I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to be going up. I want to be, uh, take me higher, as uh, Creed would say. So, yes, please. <laughs> so, so, but yeah. Uh, anything else here on dislikes or shall we move on to our other uh, thoughts? I'm ready to move on, sir. Okay. How long to beat says this game takes about four hours to complete. Another nice short experience. Yeah. This game is Xbox Cloud and Xbox Play Anywhere compatible. So play it on your PC. Your saves will, will um, work on the cloud and on your Xbox. So good on them. Nice job. Don't nod. So. Well done. Yeah. So what you got, Tom? Okay. So... Who's don't nod, right? Like it sounded vaguely familiar and I couldn't place why. So I looked into it. Uh, No big surprise here. They're a French development studio. Um, They are responsible for games that you may recognize. Life is Strange. Uh, Tell Me Why. Um, And also uh, Remember Me and Vampire. So a a bunch of stuff. And and their list is quite a bit longer than that. But I just pulled out the highlights, the ones people are most likely to recognize. Um, I also noted that each of these chapters, when you complete them, unlocks a new mechanic. So, uh, our little jelly psychic buddy was one such mechanic, Yeah. but, uh, reading into it a little bit further, like the dig game does have depth and additional mechanics to help break up the, you're just climbing, uh, sense. Um, so want to note that you know, to be fair. Um, and also for anybody who is wondering, uh, those notes that are scattered throughout the world are required reading. If you want to understand the story when you finish it. So I guess when you get to the top, if you haven't read the (laughs) journal entries, you're left scratching your head. Uh, but if you had, apparently the game is very rewarding. Um, Oh man. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> I got to pay attention. Okay. Yeah. You've got to pay attention or at least you've got to find them all because yeah. you can go into kind of the options and reread them at any time. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. So, so I can just get to the top and just read everything. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So Tom, we do need to find out though, is this game going to be staying on our respective hard drives or are we going to throw it off of this cliff and never speak of it again? Well, Chris, I tend to feel like I hog the spotlight here a lot of the time. So why don't why don't you tell us how you feel first? <laughs> OK, fair enough. Uh, look, this game was an absolute joy to play. Absolutely gorgeous presentation. And the controls felt intuitive. But then they start to layer themselves up with complex, complex. I love that. I love that when a game does that, where you add the layers on this. And it's a short game, four hours. I get to live 
the uh, uh, have my experience as Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 2's intro in a game. I, I'm here. I'm here for it. And I'm excited to go back into this game and keep climbing. What about you, Tom? Keep on climbing. Uh, so I think the climbing mechanics feel good. Okay. Um, which is very important because they're <laughs> such an important uh, mechanic of the game. Absolutely. I'm not sure for me if it over comes how repetitive i guess the game feels okay but two things having read that there are more mechanics yeah. in there right and also knowing that the game isn't terribly long altogether no. i think i've got to at least give it another hour okay. because i think i enjoyed what i played except for getting stuck right i would imagine with more mechanics it would be harder to get stuck um, so I think it looks and plays really well. I'd like to see, can it, you know, can it sink its pittens into me and, uh, <laughs> keep me climbing? Nice. I, I, I want to try, I, I'm going to give it, well, let's get to the halfway point, I guess, yeah. and see if we still want to keep playing or not. Cool. Well, look at that. Well, we guess we're, we're, we're sticking with it, Jusant. Yeah. It's that, but. Those are our thoughts. Let us know what you guys think of this game. Follow us and say hello on Twitter at TC1H1D or shoot us an email at TC1H1D at Outlook.com. Check out our next streams on Twitch at Twitch.tv slash 1H1D. Or, um, you know, we put these out on YouTube. So, you know, we've, we've got comments open. So send us a comment down below and see what, let us know what your thoughts are about this game and how much you love climbing. I don't know. I'm sure. Or hate uh, it. Or hate maybe it. Maybe you just want to sit on the ground. Yeah. Lay on the ground. Yeah. Maybe you just want to touch grass. That's fine. Maybe you we want to dig that. holes. <laughs> go deeper <laughs> instead of climb higher. Yeah. Go go further into the earth. Um, yeah. So 1H1D is part of that Q2B network. And um, if you want any other cool gaming content, check it all out at quitthebuild.com slash network. Yeah, Tom. Woo. We got to find out what we're playing next, don't we? Yes. And we're going to find out right now by hitting that surprise button. So. Woohoo! Here we go. Oh, okay. You, are you surprised, Chris? I am surprised because Warhammer is in our in our midst. It's our first. Uh, am Warhammer. I gonna have to build and paint miniatures? Uh, not this time. Uh, okay. Maybe next time. But we are going to be talking about Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. So. Okay, <laughs> we're 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 gonna be we're gonna be doing something with the gun, maybe bolting things. But that's our next episode. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this one and next one. Toodaloo! Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>